Hello and welcome to another episode of Kill Ant Reviews. Uh, today uh, we will be re reviewing the Dark Sword Trilogy by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. I think I pronounced that correctly. Uh, this is actually the first volume of the Dark Sword Trilogy. I actually ended up actually uh, picking this up at a uh, looks like a good uh, Goodwill for pretty cheap. So. Only the first one was actually being sold, I didn't see the other two. And overall, I definitely was satisfied with the purchase for why I paid. Um, it's it's a, uh, what I, what I love most about this, it definitely has a good world building for a fantasy world. Basically, everyone has like some kind of magic, and there's like cast systems, you can't really marry outside your cast. And basically, one, one of the main characters, he's basically born dead, basically no magic. At, at all, and basically, if a kid's born dead, they're basically killed. Uh, the second, the other character is kind of like a, like a, uh, kind of a monk catalyst person who has, who has some, some magic. He, he is older, and basically, he was disgraced years ago due to, be, due to going to a part of the library that he wasn't allowed to be in. Even though he wasn't really kicked out, they kind of sent him on a on a journey years later just to get him out of their, their hair. And the cover, um, the only thing I didn't really like is d definitely try to do some like guide fan service with that. Um, and with one of the main characters. And this guy right here, uh, they kind of describe him as kind of balding. And this one he has uh, quite a bit of hair. Other than that, I, th I felt the picture was actually pretty Pretty good. This is definitely an accurate representation of the Dark Sword, which they were forging. Uh, my my biggest problem with this book is probably in the middle. It starts to kind of slow down a bit, and there's some like non unnecessary scenes. But overall, I didn't. I did actually enjoy. I enjoyed the little building. I definitely enjoyed the characters. So I kind of wish they focused more on this guy. Sorry. Really wish they focused on that guy a bit. I believe his name is Joram. And the other guy is Sarion. I was trying to look, look at it so I can actually pronounce these names correctly. I'm pretty sure I butchered them like any other name. And and it doesn't and it actually takes it actually takes a while to get to to where they're going. Like one guy he the whole entire plot is 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 Joran, he, Joram, uh, he basically was using sleight of hand tricks to show that he actually has some magic, so no one would, ca no one would catch on. So he's been basically forced to work in the fields where they're, where all the workers who have magical abilities are basically pushed to their limits so they can't use their magic in any kind of way, and Oh, the old Berseers got ang got angry because he's using like techniques to like to pull to like instead of pushing a boulder with his physical strength, he uses a plank of wood to kind of like just roll it roll it around like underneath and use leverage. It's definitely a pretty primitive primitive world too. It's like medieval but early medieval kind of thing. Uh, it's a little, it's definitely weird. Uh, there's a lot of good magic stuff. Uh, it's, it's a hard book to really describe, but I definitely definitely enjoyed it. Um, if you're into this, check it out. I know I was familiar with two authors since I've read some of the Dragonlands and a couple other of their, their fantasy books. So what would I give this book overall? A strong 7.5. I, like I said, if it didn't take, a, didn't take as long to get to where they're going because I thought some of the scenes were a little bit unnecessary. And I focus a little bit more on the more boring character, which is this guy right here. I kind of wish they focused a little bit more on this guy, because that part he kind of disappeared. But overall, it's de it's a decent fantasy book, and at some point, I'm definitely going to buy the other two and read those two because I I want to finish up this trilogy. I only seen seen episode one, and I hate to leave things unfinished, especially if I enjoy them. So. Until next time, this is Kill Ant. If you enjoy if you enjoy this review, definitely leave a like or subscribe or even leave a comment on what you think if you read this book.
Until next time, this is Killer Ant.